Now, Newcastle boss Eddie Howe has also been holding his news conference this morning. Our reporter Keith Downey was there for us and joins us now. Good morning to you, Keith. Um, I mean, obviously injuries, as ever, have been the story of the season for Newcastle. <laughs> Any signs of, of improvement? Hayley, it wouldn't be a Friday morning without us discussing Newcastle United injuries. And look, it has been the story of their, their season. Um, I'm getting tired of listening to myself talking about it, to be honest. They've been blighted with injuries. And just when things were beginning to look a little bit better last week with the return of Harvey Barnes, who, of course, scored two against West Ham in that 4-3 comeback win. And Ellie Anderson both, ca both came back. They then were dealt the news that Jamal Lascelles, who was the replacement for Sven Botman, who is also injured will both miss the up to nine months with ACL injuries so look bad news for Eddie Howe but he does have enough players to take to the field against Fulham tomorrow and look they're still fighting for a place in Europe and he didn't want to go too much into the injuries because he doesn't want to use it as an excuse. I think the difficult thing is when you're stretched you lose a couple more you become even more stretched and I've always said this season when you get to a, a sort of a tipping point um, it's very difficult to, to control that then because you can't rest and rotate players that maybe you would if they're carrying something or they're looking vulnerable. You can't then, you don't have the flexibility to then protect players. And that, that we've been in that situation now for months. And that's when it becomes very difficult. And especially when you get injuries in more than, uh, sorry, a, a number of injuries in the same position. That then again leaves you in a difficult situation. And that's where we are currently with our defenders, really. OK. What about plans for next season then, Keith? Is there a concern that Newcastle actually won't be able to, to spend much in the summer? Well, look, uh, he didn't want to give too much away with regards to that, but obviously PSR has been a, a huge issue for, for Newcastle in the last couple of transfer windows. Remember, Newcastle have spent over £400 million since the takeover was pushed through back in October 2021. They've not really sold anyone, just the odd player uh, here or there, but it's mostly been spending that Newcastle have done, and that is why in, in January they weren't able to bring anyone in because they were right close to their... their their PSR guidelines and they knew that what they didn't want to do is follow suit of the likes of Everton or Nottingham Forest who we've seen have both been docked points this season. However, there have been some talks between Premier League clubs with uh, the thought of potentially changing those rules and taking away clubs potentially being docked points and Eddie Howe was asked on that this morning because without doubt that would be a situation that would help Newcastle United moving forward. I've got plenty of thoughts on it but uh, <laughs> I don't know if much for uh, public consumption. I, I, I think it's difficult to deal with rumour isn't it? We need to deal with facts and at this moment in time it looks like points deductions are the way the Premier League are dealing with things um, and we have to try and fall in line with everybody else. So then, uh, with PSR in mind, do you think they might actually even have to, to sell this summer, Keith? Yeah, look, Eddie Howe has, has hinted at it before and so too is the club's chief executive, Darren Eels, suggesting that the club look, may need to sell this summer before they can buy because they are close to that, that PSR limit. Perhaps, look, that might change if the rules get changed at the next Premier League meeting at, at the end of the season. So, look, time will tell with regards to that. But as it stands at the moment, I don't think Newcastle are going to have a huge amount of money to spend this summer because they've not managed to increase their revenue streams to as high as the, the teams at the top of the, the league. I mean, you look at Manchester City, for example, their revenue in the last financial year was three times that of Newcastle United, so they're always going to have a, a head start. Uh, that would suggest then that Newcastle need, need to trade and there is a fear amongst Newcastle United supporters that a big-name player, a, a Bruno Guimaraes, an Alexander Isak or a Sven Botman may have to be sold to allow the, the club to develop and, and enter the transfer market them, themselves. So, look, there is a fear that Bruno um, may go this summer amongst supporters. They've all been talking about it on social media uh, this week. And Eddie Howe was asked that question uh, this morning, and, and this was his response. Let me tell you, players like Bruno, I think I've said this before, they're not around every corner. They're very, very rare. Bruno, Bruno should, again, should be appreciated for everything that he brings. My intention would be to keep Bruno at the football club for as long as we possibly can. Um, 
I can never make guarantees though because that would be absolutely foolish of me because I've been in football long enough to know you never know what's <laughs> going to happen tomorrow. But he's uh, an integral part of our team and he's playing really well at the moment. So Bruno Guimaraes, according to Eddie Howe, an integral member of their team and someone he wants to keep here for, for a long time. But look, the summer is going to be a very interesting one. I think for, for all clubs, Newcastle, as much as anybody else, because as I say, they are close to those guidelines and unless anything is, is changed, it is going to be a difficult summer, Eddie Howe uh, admitted in his press conference this morning. But before that, eight difficult games for Newcastle as they try and win a place in, in Europe next season. And next for them as a trip to Fulham tomorrow. They've already beaten him twice this season, once in the league at St James's Park and also knocked him out of the FA Cup as well. Eddie Howe will be looking for a, a hat-trick tomorrow as he takes his team to Craven Cottage uh, to face Marco Silva's team. Keith, thank you very much indeed.